Let's solve some trigonometric equations on the interval between 0 and 2 pi, where 0 is included and 2 pi is not. So if we're thinking about a unit circle, starting from 0 until 2 pi. So in other words, one revolution of the unit circle. So let's say we have tangent squared of theta equaling 1 third. So I'm trying to solve for theta, so I should get the tangent of theta by itself. Because it's being squared, I'm going to take the square root. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides, keeping in mind that because this is tangent squared, there's actually two possibilities for theta. It could be plus or it could be minus. So then we have the tangent of theta could be plus or minus, square root of one third. Again, because it's being squared, there's two possibilities. So this is plus or minus, square root of one is three or 1, <laughs> and the square root of 3 is square root of 3. So keeping in mind how the points on the unit circle work, anytime you have a square root of 3 involved, it's usually, actually it's always over 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as plus or minus 1 over 2, and square root of 3 over 2. Okay, the tangent of theta is the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. So where I'm looking at the unit circle is where the y-coordinate is plus or minus 1 half and where the x-coordinate is plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. Since it's plus or minus, that can happen in all four quadrants. So I'm looking for where the y-coordinate is 1 half or negative 1 half. And with that, the x-coordinate will also be the square root of 3 over 2. So where the y is 1 half or negative 1 half happens at four places. And these are all at our pi over 6's. So pi over 6 in the first quadrant, 5 pi over 6 in the second quadrant, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Okay, so this one actually has four answers. So theta is pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, or 11 pi over 6. Let's do another one that's been squared. Let's do maybe 4 sine squared of theta minus 3 equals 0. Okay, so to get theta by itself, I need to get the sine of theta by itself, which also means I need to get the sine squared of theta by itself. So I'm going to add 3 and then divide by 4. And then just like we did a moment ago, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Keeping in mind, that yields a plus and a minus. Okay, so we get plus or minus square root of 3 over square root of 4, which is 2. And the sine function deals with the y-coordinate. Okay, so on my unit circle, plus and minus, that's in all four quadrants. I'm looking for where the y-coordinate is square root of 3 over 2, which is much closer to the top than the one-half was. So these are going to take place at the thirds. Yeah, again, there's one in each quadrant. So we have pi over 3, we have 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Okay, so that means theta has four answers.